Using image J, the biologist must open each image and apply several operations to the image individually. He must convert the image to 8-bit color, then apply a threshold to zero out pixels in empty space and convert the image to a binary. Finally, he can apply particle analysis to count all the contiguous regions of pixels. The result is a table of each cell found in the image and how large it is. This process must be repeated for each image from the microscope. Now that we have seen how our biologist uses image J, let's look at how this same workflow takes place in Archaea. Our biologist simply describes the operation he wants Archaea to attempt in plain English. Because Archaea is backed by an LLM, it is able to understand vague instructions as well as infer intermediate steps. In addition to an LLM, Archaea is able to securely run programs on the local machine. This means that it can see all those bloodstain images on our biologist's hard drive and process them directly without uploading them to an LLM provider. You may have wondered at this point how Archaea was able to perform the same operations as Image J. This is possible because Archaea is actually running Image J through a model context protocol server, which it manages transparently. When it launches, Archaea will have access to a repository of servers like the one for Image J, all of which can be installed in a single click. Now that our biologist has the counts he needs from a few of his images, he will run a similar operation on his full dataset. Additionally, he has another server installed which connects matplotlib, so he can give Archaea the additional instruction to create a box plot of his count results. This is where Archaea's shared memory comes into play. It allows multiple model context protocol servers to share data for the duration of the conversation. This allows data to pass directly between servers without going to the LLM provider. In our case, this prevents the LLM from ever seeing the full list of our biologist's 3200 blood sample images. If he were to have attempted to run these same operations from the Claude desktop app, he would have exhausted his token budget just on the LLM processing the file list. Archaea has now completed our biologist's request and has saved a generated box plot to his blood sample images. From start to finish, Archaea processed 3,200 images in about four minutes. That is the same amount of time that it would have taken to process four images if the biologist would have used image J. Visit archaea.io for more information.